How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is my new thermal cooker. Why should you use a thermal cooker? It's because it saves electricity. When you have a normal pot, it may look like what's inside here. When you're cooking something, you heat something up and it's constantly losing heat. Losing heat is basically losing money. Now it just makes no sense to me that when you have to do long-term cooking, you keep on heating something up, all the energy gets radiated out. You're just basically losing all of it into your environment. Now you might wonder exactly how much money are you saving here? A typical electric range uses anywhere between one and three kilowatt hour. Of course, it's not always on at all times. So sometimes when you might be simmering something, it might be on, let's say 25% of the time. If you have a large range, 25% of the time, it's about half a kilowatt per hour. Half a kilowatt hour is about five cents per hour. And if you need to simmer something, uh, let's say you're doing long-term cooking, maybe 10 hours, this will add up to about 50 cents per time that you're trying to cook something for really long. What do you normally need to cook for really long? For example, soups, if you wanna cook ribs, root vegetables, eggplant, all of those things takes quite a long time. Of course, you can also cook things that doesn't take as long. You can just heat it part of the way, stick it inside over here, close the lid, wait about three hours and your food will be done. Now over in third world countries, they try to solve this by using regular pots and then they heat it with a fire. And then there's this product you can buy, it wraps around the pot. Basically it's the same thing as this insulator, except it's not as uh, compact. So this outer pot over here basically insulate this inner pot to keep the, and retain the heat inside. Now it can keep something warm for up to about 12 hours or something and it can cook something for about three hours. So you save about 50 cents for every single time you cook something for 10 hours. This means if you use it about 100 times or let's say three or four months of regular usage, you're gonna make your return on investment back on this thing and afterwards, you're gonna be saving money. So this may seem insignificant, but owning something like this will save you money down the road. The longer you keep this and the longer you take care of this and able to use this, the more money that you're gonna save in terms of energy costs. So right now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this with a little recipe. Five pounds of chicken drumstick over here, 79 cents a pound, $5. This is the pot right here. It has an inner pot over here, but I don't need two layers right now. I just want one big layer. So I'm gonna turn this on, add a little bit of olive oil, in goes a chicken drumstick. One, two, 14. I have about two pounds of carrots. I didn't really peel my carrots over here. I'm just gonna dump them in. I have a half teaspoon of flavored salt here. Coriander over here. So I'm gonna put in about one, two, three. Okay, some pepper. I got some garlic powder here. Normally I would put in regular garlic, but this is what I have. I don't have any garlic right now with me, so uh, powder is fine. And I don't have a recipe for this, so I'm just kind of like doing it by taste. I see the spices and I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like a little paprika in here. So here we go. Add a little bit of paprika. Maybe I want a little bit more. So right now is half teaspoon for these guys. So one teaspoon of paprika in there. I want to mix it up a bit. One more cup of water. Down there, it comes up about two inches, so that's pretty good. You heat it about 10 to 20 minutes or so, just so that everything is up to temperature. Because right now, the core of these chicken drumsticks, they're, you know, kind of cold inside. So if we stop cooking right now, it might suck up all the heat and drop the temperature. So we just want to make sure it's hot enough. I'm just going to close this, simmer it for a little bit, just, you know, five, 10 minutes or so, and then we'll come back. It's come to a fast boil. I'm gonna turn off the heat and now I'm gonna put it inside here. Close it and then we just leave that alone. So the chicken is in here. I'm gonna set this down right now because it's heavy. Normally, if you want to cook a chicken drumstick that big, it takes a long time because it's so big. I'd say you need to simmer maybe roughly an hour before those big drumsticks will be all the way cooked through. Instead, of course, I only cooked it for roughly about 20 minutes total. The rest of the way, it's going to be saved energy, which is about 40 minutes. Of course, it's not going to be as much savings as if I was making broth or maybe fall off the bones baby back ribs, but I can make this into fall off the bones chicken drumsticks just by waiting a little bit longer. So let's wait for this thing for a couple of hours and then we're gonna come back and take some temperature. This is probably a really strange way of cooking for most people because what, you're not putting any heat in it? Will it grow bacteria or something? No, it's retained such a high amount of heat. It's really, really hot in there. 
It's just that you can't take a look at it because it's all sealed, it's all insulated, so it keeps and retains its heat. That's how it's able to keep on cooking without you adding more energy into it. Theoretically, if you heat something up and then suddenly you stick it in a vacuum in space or something, it will remain heated for a really, really long period of time. So all of this is about conservation using the energy that you already expended and keeping it there rather than losing it and having to replenish it. So let's wait a little bit and then we're going to come back. Checking the temperature of the counter is 78 degrees. The temperature outside of this container is 86 degrees. So about 8 degrees difference. It is leaking a little bit of heat. Otherwise, it won't be a little bit warm. So let me just open this up. Temperature on this knob, 153 degrees. Temperature outside of the chicken, 152 degrees. Temperature inside over here, 160. In the liquid is 160. Let me check inside one of the chickens here. 157, 158. I think I have to tear open one of them to double check that it's done. Well, it's not bloody at all. It's not pink, so it tells me that this is cooked. So here it is, an easy way to cook a lot of drumstick. I only spent about 10 minutes in the kitchen. You don't even have to tend to it because it's not even plugged into electricity. So this is mainly coriander flavored, so let's give it a try. Mmm, super tender. So this is a really great way to make a lot of food. All this chicken, $5. The spices are negligible. If you have two drumstick every single meal, this is seven meals altogether already. You just add some rice, add some vegetables and you got your meal. So thanks for watching everybody. I really think this thermal cooker is a great way to save energy. I got one myself and I'm thinking about getting another one already. If you're interested in getting this thermal cooker, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to get notifications. Thanks for watching.